Today's at home workout is my 10 minute leg workout. So how it's gonna work is I'm gonna include your warm up, your workout, your cool down, all the moves to standing, no equipment is needed. We are gonna be working everywhere. I'm working your thighs, you're gonna work your inner, outer thighs, legs, hamstrings, calves, everything. So if you're ready, I'm ready to start toning your legs at home today. So part one is the warm up. So just follow along and we're gonna start with just doing 10 of these toe taps. So this is simply just about mobilizing your joints and increasing your core body temperature for the workout ahead. So it's just that little toe tap. Now let's take it to a heel dig. And again, we're just doing 10 of these. So just follow along, just preparing your body for the workout head. We're just gonna go for doing these knee bends. Keep the upper body straight. And remember, if you don't wanna have the coaching, you can simply mute the video and just play your favorite music. And let's just do those toe taps. So we're just going from one side to the other. And now let's just take it where we're doing a knee lift. So we're now just mobilizing a little bit more through the hip joint, drawing that knee up, keeping the upper body straight. And now just shake those arms out. Just give me a little bit of a rotation and just kick that leg in front. So this part here is simply just your warm up. So we get the best results from part two, your workout. This is a preview of the first move. We're gonna start with doing four of these wide leg sweeps. And then from that, we hold it and we go into four plie squats. We're doing this for 50 seconds. So if you just come into position and we're gonna step the feet out wide. Now give me a sweep across. So go three and one more, four. Now hold it here, take it to a plie squat for me for four, keep your upper body nice and straight. So we're just gonna keep alternating these two moves. You can see the timer bar on the right, that represents 50 seconds. So let's just keep going, upper body stay straight. So where I'm really working and toning right now is your inner and outer thighs. So this is great for your legs really lovely move and then take that to that plie squat so keep the toes slightly pointing out doing really well draw that leg across upper body stay straight and now step that out nice and wide that's good and then again let's take that to that draw that leg across Feel that working through what's known as your adductor. All right, let's have a look at your next move coming up now. This one, we're gonna work on one leg, then we'll change halfway through to the other leg. And we're so simply doing these big circles. So we do it in three points. So let's have one knee slightly bent, hands on the hips, point in front to the side and behind. Point in front to the side and behind. Just keep that going. Your hips stay still. Again, you can see the timer. That's another 50 seconds on there. Let's just keep going and back and then circle that round point in front side behind that's good keeping that going and let's just change now for the last half of this 50 seconds doing the opposite leg so toe point in front and back and what's really nice with this this is going to increase your hip mobility it's really lovely as well for really toning through the whole of your lower body you're also working your standing leg as well so you can see that timer on the bar there just keep going until we reach the top on that one supporting knee as always stays slightly bent and well done. Right, preview of next move. So this one, we're gonna come into a split stance and you're just gonna lift one leg slightly up. We'll do 25 seconds one leg, then change to the other. So knees are bent, tummy is pulled in, leg out and now lift and then lower. So the key thing here is you're only lifting that leg as far as feels comfortable. This is great for working your abductor, so the outer of the thigh muscle, make sure your supporting leg for me is slightly bent. And again, we're doing 50 seconds, halfway through, we'll change and take that to the opposite leg and lift. So now change, take that to the other leg and lift that up. So what we're doing here is really working that outer thigh as you extend that leg out to the side so this is what we call a lateral lift so we're really in today's workout we're working your body your legs from lots of different angles keeping that going so you can see that timer bar 
You can see when we're about to finish on this move and well done. All right, let's have a look at your next move coming up. So this one's a really nice one. We're gonna do these heel lifts and then we're gonna do what we call a deadlift. So with this, what's really important is you bend through the knees, but you're gonna keep your hands close to your body and then slowly come up. First part though is heels up and just lift. We're gonna do four of these, three, let's go two and one. Now take the toes together, Bend your knees and slowly slide your hands all the way down as far as you can, then come back up. You're gonna go three more for me. It's a really slow controlled move and it's your hamstrings that is activating this move. So this is a really good move for the upper part of your legs through the back, that's good. And then coming up. And now take the toes out and give me those arm lifts at the same time, three. Let's go two, heels come up and one. And now get ready, toes point forwards and slide those hands down. So you keep the hands close to your body, keep your core pulled in tight as you do this move. Keep it really slow, we're not rushing this one. Take that down. And let's just go one more and then slowly coming back up. So well done. Let's have a look at your next move coming up. This time you're gonna lean slightly back and we're just gonna go for doing these leg lifts. Supporting one is bent and we're gonna alternate from one leg to the other. So come into position, lean slightly back and give me three. Let's go two and one. Now change legs and notice how my supporting leg is slightly bent, just keep going so you're alternating four on each leg. So what I'm really doing here now is I'm really working and activating your quadricep through the front of the thigh. And again, just keep lifting, you can see your timer bar and definitely if you want lots of recipes, tips, motivation, do come to my website lwrfitness.com, I've got loads of blogs on there. And just keep lifting that leg and you can see how far you are on that 50 seconds. And keep your core muscles pulled in really tight, supporting leg always remains slightly bent. And let's just lift that again. Nice control and well done. All right, next move coming up. This one now, we're gonna do a wide plie squat and we're gonna alternate with taking your heels up on this one. So let's get ready, come into position, step the feet out nice and wide, upper body is straight and we're just gonna simply start with just doing four basic ones. So you go four, let's go three, take it two and one. Now hold it here, take one heel up now and let's go four, take it three, two and one, lower that heel, opposite heel, four, go three, two and one. Now both heels if you can, four, go three, two and one, and then heels back down. And we're gonna keep repeating that sequence. The benefit of this is it really works hard into those inner thigh muscles. So heel is up, take the opposite heel up, doing really well. So this workout is a really lovely, safe body weight leg toning workout. It's incredible for your thighs. So this you can do as often as you want. And let's just lift. It's also really good for your joint health and your bone health as well. Lifting that up. And now both heels. So this part's challenging, but you can do it. Let's just walk those feet in. So next move coming up, we're gonna go for doing four of these side taps, and then we're gonna come up and do four calf raises, and then we'll take the heel tap to the other side. So let's start with these, three, let's go two and one, and now take that foot out, and now bring it up, four, let's go three, take it two, and one and tap that foot out four let's go three two and one so again just coming up so the benefit here we're working through the calf muscle plus we're working your outer thigh as well so today's workout has covered the whole of your lower body so it's a really lovely effective leg toning workout and tap that foot out and what's important is at the end of it we're going to do a cool down but also what i'm going to do is really lengthen those muscles so we don't get those short tight bulky muscles we're going to really lengthen through your calves and through the hamstrings so let's just keep going that's good and you can see on that timer bar we've nearly finished right so we are now in part three this is the lengthen and stretch so what i want you to do just step one foot back for me now and make sure both your feet are pointing forwards and lean into that stretch. So what we're doing now is we're stretching through your gastronemius, that is the calf muscle, 
and we can really lengthen that. So we're gonna avoid getting those short, tight muscles. And now let's step that back, take that to the opposite foot, and again, feel that stretch and really feel that lengthening through the back of the lower leg. And the great thing is with doing these stretches, it helps to prevent any injuries as well. All right, so from there now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch your inner thighs. So step it out wide and we're just gonna sway from one side to the other. That's good. And now just hold and just feel that stretch through the adductor on that extended straight leg. And let's now sway from one side again to the other. And now just hold. And again, now we're working through the adductor on the other leg. So this is how we're gonna really lengthen these muscles as well. So let's walk the feet in. And this time now, let's focus on doing a hamstring stretch. So bend one leg, the opposite leg is extended straight. Lift the toes up, feel the stretch through the back of the upper thigh. Just holding that there. So now we're really lengthening and developing your hamstring flexibility, stretching that out. And now let's come up, just extend that to the opposite leg and just feel that stretch through the back of the upper thigh. And to intensify that stretch, just lift those toes up a little bit higher. So now let's do a quadricep stretch. So you're just holding on to the foot, feel the stretch through the front of the thigh. Make sure your supporting leg is slightly bent for me. So again, it's equally important to really stretch through that quadricep. That really helps with having good spinal alignment. And now let's take that to the opposite leg. Make sure that supporting knee is slightly bent. And definitely if you've enjoyed this video at the end of it, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you want more leg workouts. And let's now take one leg over, just reach the arms over. And this is just a really lovely all over body stretch. And now take that to the other side. And remember, you can do this workout as often as you want because it's safe and we're using body weight. So there's your high five. Well done. You did it. And I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.